Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CPP Nuts video series on C++ and this video is about virtual destructors. So before this video, we have learned about virtual function. There I explain what is the use of virtual functions and how to use them. So if you don't know or not sure about the topic, please go ahead and check this. You'll be getting this link somewhere here as a pop-up. So I hope you know virtual function very well. So let's understand what is virtual destructor and why do you need that? So the whole point about virtual is you always have this kind of scenarios like you have base pointer and you have a derived class object into base pointer or base reference. But in case of virtual destructor, we will only have base pointer or pointer example, not the reference example because references are not deleted using this delete keyword. We always delete pointers. So you actually have this scenario. Now what happens when you delete this B because you created this pointer meaning somewhere you wrote new keyword and the moment you write new keyword you have to write delete keyword it's just very simple to understand whenever you create your own memory you have to take care to delete that this much is clear right now when you delete it what happens because it's not straightforward delete see the catch is you have a wrapper of base type but inside that you have object of derived type so basically when you say that i am deleting this b meaning you are deleting this particular object because this particular wrapper thing here is just the wrapper it doesn't have anything of its own it is pointing to this derived object so ultimately when you say this you should say or compiler or computer should understand that it has to delete this object. So now I'll tell you what will happen when we'll execute this one. So let's compile this and execute this. See, this code is printing base constructor derived constructor, meaning this derived object was constructed. This has nothing to do with the construction because it is just the pointer. We are going to point this particular object. Okay. So the construction will happen here. Okay. So due to this, what will get constructed? It will come and check here. Okay, I have to construct this, but it has the base one. So it has to go to the base one to construct first. So it will construct here, meaning this will get printed. So this constructor of base is printed and then it has to come down and construct this derived object. So this constructor of derived is printed. This is cool. There is no problem. And then what we did, we we're saying that, okay, delete this pointer. Then in that case, it is deleting only the base part, not the derived part. To explain you a little better, let me do this. We have a derived D and if I will save this and compile and execute. See, this one is saying constructor of base, constructor of derived and then destructor of derived and destructor of base. So you know that destruction happens in the reverse order of construction because this uh, you can understand it like a stack based operation which one got constructed first will get destroyed first so sorry which one got constructed last will get destroyed first because it follows stack and stack is like last in first out so this destructor of sorry constructor of derived was constructed first so that's why it will get destructed first and then base one so this is clear, right? If you have normal object and when you will go out of this scope, then it will get destructed and then there is no issue. But when you have this piece of code, then the problem starts. Hey guys, time for a quick pause. And what you're seeing right now is my Patreon page. So if you don't know what is Patreon, it's a crowdfunding website where you can support any content creator like me. And in return, you get rewards. So. If you join me, I can be your private tutor or you just want to chat with me and ask your doubts or maybe you just want to support me with very small amount and I'll still have something for you. So do visit my Patreon page and see if you like it. And if you want to discontinue anytime, you can do that. So if you have already visited my Patreon page, let's continue our video now. Because you are saying that I'm going to delete this B and compiler will only check, okay, this B is of base type. So it will just simply call the base class destructor. It is not calling the derived class destructor. Your compiler doesn't know that what type of object this B is holding. That's why 
we have to use virtual destructor so this is what it is so in order to achieve virtual destruction you just have to do this you have to write virtual in front of your base class destructor and that's it now if i will run the same piece of code without changing anything see this is also printing base derived derived base so now you understand the problem was it was not calling the derived class object i mean destructor because it didn't know that i'm holding something else it will just call the delete on b and it will simply just go and check okay this is the destructor it will call destructor for this one but when we apply virtual magically it knows that no whatever the object this b is pointing to i'm supposed to delete that then it will delete the base part as well as the derived part and this whole thing is happening just because we are wrapping this child class object into base class if it is base i mean child class only let's suppose we have this derived and this is d there is no point to change this but still okay now if it is derived d is equal to derived then there is no issue i'll show you that we don't need this virtual i'll remove this and compile this it will still remove everything see it destructed derived part and base class part both and previously actually we were doing this we had base class that's when it was an issue and you know the problem with this i mean if you don't delete the derived part only base part is deleted the problem is you may have to face memory leak because you're not deleting the derived part you're just deleting the base part from derived object so it's just that simple so let's look at this theory if we delete child class object through a pointer of parent class then it is undefined behavior so yeah obviously this is not defined so you may have different different result with different different compilers so it is undefined behavior if parent class doesn't have virtual destructor and if we fail to declare destructor as virtual in parent class then we end up having memory leak so this is the problem with this so the take home note i would say is whenever there is a chance that you will have this kind of behavior like you are going to catch your child class into parent class you just blindly do this i know there is a problem here because you are increasing your class size but it is safer code you know what what do i mean by size of the class is um when you create a i mean when you create a virtual function or virtual destructor you end up having virtual pointer in your class which will actually hold the virtual table address so that is the next video part like what is virtual pointer virtual table and all so if you have this i'll show you the size of your derived class let me just have this and we can print size of this d compiled and executed see it is printing 8 if i will remove this and then i'll compile and execute it is saying 1 so you know that okay there is no data member in derived class it is empty class but still the size would be 1 i have given the video why it is 1 but the whole point is when you had virtual here it actually created a vptr pointer here in your class and if it is 64 bit system it is 8 byte and if it is 32 it is 4 bytes so that would be a wastage but you will be writing a safer code okay or another point is let's suppose you have some function uh void fun and you declare that function as virtual okay then also you blindly go and do this virtual no need to think about anything okay and you don't have to do this virtual thing everywhere in the destructor no the same rule follows you just have to do it once in the base class that's it so that's the whole job of virtual destructor it will enable you to know that or enable the computer to know that what kind of object is being holded under the pointer so it will delete that object instead of just deleting the base part of that so this video is completed next video is about virtual pointer and virtual table So so many interviewers actually ask what is virtual pointer what is virtual table and i know people get confused like they don't know when these pointers get constructed and where these pointers get constructed and all that so these are pretty basic stuff you should know if you are going for interview 
because I have seen very experienced people also don't know all these answers. So I'll see you in the next video with all the answers about virtual pointer and virtual table. So consider liking this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you're new to this channel so that you can get the notification for upcoming videos like this. Bye bye.